Well, surprise, hello, good morning. Y'all thought we were done, huh? Thought you were rid of me, did you? Not quite yet, not quite yet. Remember I said I don't know what God has planned for these few extra days? And not much. I feel this will be the last one, finishing off the one-year walk that we did. And I just kept on getting this morning, <clears throat> last night uh, or yesterday afternoon, or since getting home after work and last night and stuff, I actually had a friend or two pop in, well, a few friends actually over the course of yesterday, specifically yesterday, asking, you know, you know what's next yet? Have you had a chance to chill and relax? Have you seen what's going on? Have you not? And actually I haven't. And as much as I tried last night, relaxing, just chilling, nothing yet, and just getting up this morning, just doing my normal thing, getting my day started, worshipping, a little bit longer than normal, and it was great, and I just kept getting this thing, you know, I just want to say thank you. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to the Lord for finally hitting this stubborn body in a way that he got going in one of the most significant things I think he's ever done in his life so far. Apart from everything that has happened in my life and all these things and all the years I have served Jesus and all those things, this has truly been a, tr a really, really phenomenal year. It's uh, showed me a tremendous amount of stuff in terms of growth, what are the possibilities and the levels of growth possible within a very short period of time, uh, a plenty, plenty of things. So I just wanted to say thank you to the Lord, number one. I wanted to say, say thank you for, for you, for walking with me all the way, for those that have known me for a very long time, for those that have known me for a short time, for those that have walked this whole year with me, for those who came along or came on board a part of the way and were planning on walking forward, for those who decided, okay, cool, this was a nice year, we're going to move on to somebody else. Hey. I just want to send you guys off with blessings and just say thank you for every single like, every single comment on, on any posts, every single email. I mean, I've got an inbox full of emails. I've got somebody that emails me every single day, and I truly, really do appreciate that. And I'm, I haven't gotten to all of them yet, but I'm getting there as soon as I can. I've got people that comment on posts on all for, on all the different platforms every day just hit up a like and stuff and you know and i'll say it again i'm not in it for the likes i'm not in it for the comments but the comments and likes are all it's nice it's a nice feel from the side because it's almost like there's a sort of a community that's already been created and you know we're all about community that's also why we take communion you know community fellowship this creates an online fellowship an online community the start of it maybe to get us into a place of, of talking to people and reaching people who I might not be able to reach in my everyday life and vice versa for you over there on that side. So really, thank you very much. And I've just got this, I just had this feeling that I just wanted to learn or, or share a little bit of, touch on some of the things that I that I thought was quite important to learn and I didn't really, I just wrote a, a couple of stuff down here. I don't even know if I'm going to get to them, but I'm just going to go with the feel this morning of what the Lord wants to say. But on things of what I've learned over the course of this year pretty much and I've learned the most important things I've learned is to to get off my back turn around get on my knees when I'm lying tired in my bed even if it's just for five seconds to thank God for the day I've learned to get down on my knees in front of Jesus when my back hurts and my legs are sore and I can barely get down and I know I'm going to struggle getting up I've learned to get on my knees for him I've learned to pray always to keep praying even if i don't see the outcome even if i don't see anything happening even if i don't feel anything happening to pray and thank god and ask god and thank him for everything already i've learned to see those things in the spirit already as done because that's how faith gets kick-started and that's how God starts getting activated in my life and to see it and to speak those things that aren't as though they were I've learned to praise God at all times one of the most important things I think I've learned is to get my mind out of the equation to get my mind out of the way to stop leaning on my mind to whenever I go because the moment we do that, we have this tendency that we can put God in a box and we don't want to do that. So I've learned to get my mind out of the way, to lean not on my own understanding, 
And that's probably one of the most important things I think anybody can take away from it. Because uh, if I go back some time in my life, I probably made myself a biki molly boer with, with what, trying to understand what God is doing. And I've, I've learned that His ways are higher and better than mine. And I've learned that what He says will be completed. He will complete the good work that He started in me and He'll complete the good work that He started in you. In you. I've learned that Isaiah 55 says that His word will not return to Him void. It will set out and it will accomplish what it's meant to do. And I've learned that I can't stop God's work. And it, it can maybe take a little bit longer or not or whatever, but I've learned that I want to serve Jesus. I learned that, I've, that I want to give God everything I've got. I've learned that I am completely sold out for Jesus and that nobody will change my mind. Then I just want to wish for you that God would touch you exactly where you are in your life, in the world, wherever it is that you are, that God would touch you and show you who He is, who He really is, that He that you, you will know that you are his child, that you'll know that you are enough, that you'll know that you are not too far gone, that you're just one step, that you'll know you can turn to him right now, wherever it is that you are, if you need to, that you will learn or that you'll know you can go to him always, that you can pray always, praise always, that he's always there, that you'll know he's always there, right there with you. That you'll know you are a perfectly created person in God's image and to his likeness. That God not only, well, God likes you, but not only likes you, but that he loves you. That he gave everything for you. That he gave his life for you. That you are healed by his stripes. That you have been healed by his stripes. And that that healing would come, but that you would praise God and thank God, even if you don't see that healing yet. Even if you don't see the outcome yet. And like me, even if you can't see the stuff or feel the stuff even yet, that you'll know God is still in control. He's got this. He knows what he's doing. And I pray that you'll find that purpose in him. And that you'll start now to become that magnificent, extraordinary calling that he has for your life. That purpose that he has for your life. That it'll start, that it'll hit you now and that it'll start walking. And that a month from now, a week from now, a year from now, we would have been in touch and I get to watch some of your videos. Or we get to chat over email or messaging or whatever. And get to share the magnificent testimonies of the life of what God is doing in your life. One of the final things I've learned that is that everything God does is always for His glory. And the sooner we realize that, the faster we get to work it properly. Because the bonus of always doing everything for God's glory is that He always has our best interest at heart as well. He rewards us. He gives us these bonuses that we don't even expect or see coming sometimes. So when we truly just do it for His glory, in spirit and in truth, worship and praise God, man, He, he, he raises us up. So finally, again, and thank you through all of that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I'll see you soon. Shalom, shalom.